Hey, less lethal people. How's everybody tonight? So, I worked last night from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. this morning. And when I got home this morning, I looked in my mailbox to find a package. And a few weeks back, a gentleman reached out to me. And he's seen some of my channel and some of my comments and stuff. And he knows I like these bullets. I really like using that company. They have very good projectiles. And he asked me if I would try his out. And he said they were designed similarly or from the same person that came up with the design for these bullets. So I said, sure. And he sent them out to me and they arrived today. It was a nice surprise to come find that in the mail. And I did do a video on it, but I'm not really too happy with the video. So I don't know if I'm going to post it yet. So this is not the full review or it's not the review of this ammunition or these projectiles but it's a pre-review. So, and why it's a pre-review is because I had a lot of weird data today when I was using these. And I used, I, I really shot all day long for hours. I went through boxes of CO2 cartridges and I probably lost most of the projectiles by the end of the day or whatever i i salvaged several i mean i still have about 20 or 30 of them and he sent me two calibers he sent me 68 caliber and he sent me uh 50 cal so what they are are this is the 68 cal okay very similar to these bullets only the back is open and what is inside of here if i can get it out which i don't know if i could it's in there pretty tight is basically a 45 caliber um, full metal jacket round nose bullet. And inside of this one, I don't know, it looks maybe like a 32. I don't think it's a 38 or, or a nine. It looks a little small. This is it. He sent me some that were not assembled so I could see what they look like. So this is your full metal jacket round nose and it's inside of this little 3D printed, probably TPU or something because it's soft and rubbery. Now, I will tell you this, they're extremely heavy. This one comes in at 13 and a half grams. This one comes in at 7.1 grams. Just for a comparison, these bullets, the large one that for 68 caliber, that comes in at about 8 grams, 9 grams. This is 13 point... No, I'm sorry, 10. I remember that exactly. The, these bullets is 10 grams, and this is 13.5. So this is 3.5 grams more. I wrote that down, actually, over here. Um, this one came in at 7.1, and the these bullets comes in at 4.5. So this is almost double the weight. It's not, but it's almost there. So 7.1 versus 4.5 grams. So they're very heavy. I shot them all day long because I couldn't believe I was getting the same results over and over and over again. So on the HDR 50, cars go by, I had numbers ranging from 352 feet per second multiple shots which was 40 joules of power can't believe i got 40 joules of power out of this multiple times but then it dropped down to 294 and 230 and when i looked at that it was like 28 30 joules of energy uh, and then down to 18 joules of energy at one point, at the last, at, towards the end of the CO2 cartridge. But tw I was surprised, and I'm still impressed with 28 and 30 joules of this. But 40 joules knocked my socks off. But I couldn't understand why I was getting such a fluctuation on the first magazine. And after doing this numerous times and loading it all day, I realized the issue some of these that the gentleman sent me from 
all American ammunition, are extremely snug and very hard to get in and out of the magazine. Those are coming out at less feet per second. Those are the ones that are coming out at 28 to 30 joules, which is still great. But some of them just slide in and out so easily. They just slide perfectly in and out. It's perfect. They're almost just, they just glide right out. You can just pop it out just like that. Those are the ones that were getting 40 joules of energy. And when those hit, whatever they hit, it knocked the full metal jacket out of this. So I must have shot these at least a hundred times today and I kept getting the same consistency. Then I staged the magazine and all the ones that fit, not super snug, but just slid in there nice and gently and slid out, those all produced 40 joules of energy. The others were producing 28 to 30 joules of energy, which is still outstanding. But to get 40 joules of, of, of power multiple times and it's funny because three of them fit really loose and three fit really snug and every time the ones that fit loose all got 40 joules of power when I did it on the chronograph I mean 352 352 then 294 and so on and so forth so I asked the gentleman if I could pay him and get another 50 of them and he'll send them to me and i asked him to send me only ones that he bore match to this that fit loosely because i want to see if we could consistently get 40 jewels on the ones that fit loose into here and if he can also tweak them where some aren't as well and he did and i'm looking at the backs of these now so my answer to he's just a new guy starting out and since that's the case, just like me, like I started out with the detents and stuff. But if I do look at the back of, let's say, this one and this one, it's very hard to tell on the camera. This one fits snug. This one fits loose. But if you look really closely, you could see there's more material here. It's thicker than this one. And when I even when I hold it up, you could see it just hangs out a little bit more, just a little bit more than the other one. So the thicker ones are the ones that are shooting with less jewels. And I think that's because they're getting um, ball drag inside of, the, inside of the marker. And that's why I think they're losing power from the ball drag. But... 40 joules is just outstanding and amazing. So that's my take on all American ammunition as a pre-review. We will do when we get, I want to give him a really fair review because I think his product is outstanding. And it's a really, really nice round. And to get 40 joules from an HDR 50 with the home defense 24 red power kit in there. You can see it down the hole a little bit, the red. That's unheard of 40 joules with just CO2. It's not HPA. I'm sure if you used HPA on these, it's, it's going to be off the charts. Now I couldn't do too much with the 68 cals because I, I have to get another, um, HDR 68. That's the way to really try it out. The HDR 68, modified is the one I and I will get that for by the time he gets me the next uh, the rounds here I will uh, get myself one and modify that I did try the 68 cal on the pepper ball TCP I had outstanding results as well but not to any uh, uh, fault of the projectile to the fault I got the same exact results almost identical to the D's bullets and the reason I got the same exact results are I decided to turn the pepper ball TCP down because in the past I wasn't getting consistent results. I get two really wild, crazy, like 36, 38 joules, and then it dropped really fast with the CO2. So I cranked it down about three and a half turns from max. 
and I'm getting consistently like in the 20 jewel range, high 20s, mid 20s, but I'm getting all eight shots or all six shots, depending which cartridge I use, uh, the eight gram or the 12 gram. I'm also able, when I keep it in the high 20s and mid 20s, I'm able to stack it with two kinetics and then pepper ball kinetic, pepper ball kinetic, which is great, especially if I need it for wildlife or stuff. So I have the Duke defense in here. I'll have start off with two kinetics, then a Duke defense, then a kinetic Duke, and so on and so forth. So that is my doing because I did turn the marker down quite a bit because I wanted to be able to use both um, kinetic and chemical rounds, and I wanted to keep it consistent. Power is not always the greatest thing. Consistency and having the right balance is much better. So just so that you guys know out there, for, I got 40 joules multiple times on this thing today. That is absolutely ridiculous 40 and you know what's even crazier i then loaded the ones i got 40 jewels with the ones that fit loosely i alternated them pepper ball them pepper ball because i have ton of ton ton of 50 caliber pepper balls and i went outside and sure enough i shot them and i was able to do 40 jewels then a pepper ball 40 jewels then a pepper ball that's huge um you know granted 40 jewels should stop somebody you shouldn't need a pepper ball after that but 40 jewel pepper ball, 40 jewel pepper ball is great. Uh, I also did try it with these today too. I was able to shoot, uh, I had a bunch of extra old burner pepper balls that are probably like three years old now, two and a half, three years old. I um, used them, they didn't crack. If the burner didn't crack in here, the Duke isn't gonna crack in here, that's for sure. So I um, fired off some uh, old burner pepper balls that I had and uh, it worked fine with these too. So that's just my take for tonight. It's a pre-review. Uh, stay tuned. In the next few weeks, we're going to have a better review. I definitely need to get out there and get um, another HDR 68 so I could do a nice review with that. I did shoot um, a lot of stuff today besides just the target. I annihilated the PVC boards that you've seen in other videos. I annihilated slate with this. Same thing with uh, same thing with these with the 50 cal. I had best re the best results I ever had with the PVC. Like with the, these bullets, the ball sometimes would go through and the rubber would come off and not go through. This the whole entire thing went through. It just that's it. It just it made really large holes. So. I think um, all American ammunition, he's really, really on to something. I can guarantee you if you use HPA with these and you use these, they fit great right in the magazine. They feed no problem, no um, issues with them getting jammed or anything. They fed perfectly. So if you're using HPA on a pepper ball TCP or an FSC and you use these, you're, uh, you got something that's really going to kick some ass. So once again, be careful, be safe. I hope you appreciate this. Please stay tuned for the full review of these when, um, I get some more in the, in the mail in the next week or two. All right, guys, have a good night.